the archives are housed in the um, in the uh, Rockefeller Museum, the uh, previously the Palestine Antiquities Museum. Um, uh, the uh, space for the records for the archive was uh, uh, organized from the very beginning of the uh, of the museum, and uh, today it looks like this. Uh, it occupies like the main space uh, on on your left, and the several other rooms, among them the. Uh, uh, a room for the maps collection. Yeah. So, in terms of the content, it has a, a, first of all, it houses all the records from the time of the British mandate, like 1951 to 1948. Also, there are some files from the Ottoman period. Uh, when uh, all excavation and the survey files from the um, uh, time of the uh, Israel Antiquities, uh, Department of Antiquities and the Antiquities Authority. Uh, maps, as I said, the earliest one of from the 19th century, uh, plants and drawings, uh, and personal legacies um, of uh, various archaeologists and uh, researchers. Um, yeah, these are some uh, maps. Uh, the uh, the whole set of the plan, uh, maps of the survey of Western Palestine of 1860. Um, yeah. Now, in terms of the structure, the um, the British, uh, the uh, we will talk concentrate on the on the British mandate uh, files. Uh, it was the first time that the archive was actually organized uh, properly. It contains like two sections. First, the scientific files. Uh, look, they look like this today, too. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, so each file, uh, each uh, archaeological site that was defined as a site had the um, uh, such a folder or a section in a folder mm -hmm. and uh, also a, a, a file uh, of administrative um, uh, material documents uh, for the same site so basically each si archaeological site a site has at least one file uh, sometimes many like Jerusalem uh, for example and now uh, in the late uh, uh, about five years ago, uh, the uh, Antiquities Authority started to uh, digitize the project of this of the mandatory archive. So everything is scanned, and about a third of it is online, uh, freely available uh, available on this uh, website. And it's still work uh, in progress. We are uh, still uploading the files. So when you will search for a site, you find the, all the uh, uh, um, relevant files and then each uh, page of the file could be viewed and downloaded. Um, yes. So, and um, we have a short movie in Hebrew, unfortunately. Uh, I mean, only in Hebrew, unfortunately. Um, it was uh, made as a promo of fundraising promo uh, between the pilot digitizing project where, uh, which included only Jerusalem and Akko and for, for raising money for the rest of the project. So Sorry. don't be alarmed, there's a lot of pathos in it. Sorry for the 
So they chose basically the first uh, result of the first part of the pilot uh, project and the physical treatment of the of the uh, 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 the physical treatment of the documents, not just digitized, but taking care of the uh, copies. Uh, here, this the uh, the uh, Western Palestine maps. Um, here, how the, this is how the first uh, website looks like. Um, uh, and the Uzi Darai, the former uh, vice uh, director of the IA. Um, one of the persons who kind of initiated the project. Uh, and here's the uh, process of preparing and signing. Shuka Dorfman, late Shuka Dorfman, the former um, director of the IA. Now there is a Arya Rothman, one of the archivists. Um, um, yeah, so we, uh, basically we talk about the damage to the uh, paper that happens over just over time, like the, and uh, what, how they try to um, preserve it. But uh, also the idea is that digitizing is uh, the way to preserve the, the material e even when the uh, in paper is damaged and damaged. And, uh, um, and here's the digitizing process. The, the uh, the workflow was developed specially for the archive by um, like the company was it was chosen to to do the work um, and this is the person who was uh, cataloging the first uh, files and uploading them online so the idea was to to make the archive accessible without uh, the need uh, people actually to to come there and to touch paper which is very fragile and they uh, can be touched too much uh, Thank you.